Now this uh, question 169 that of electrostatics that will be using the relation between electric field and potential E is equal to minus dV by dr. But here you have been given potential in XYZ coordinate system. So electric field in X component, electric field X component will be minus del V by del X, partial derivative you have to take. If you differentiate with respect to X partially, this will be 6Y and uh, all these things will be treated as constant. Value of Y has been given as uh, 1, so this will be having value 6 minus 6 Newton per coulomb. On the similar line, if you differentiate it with respect to Y minus del V by del Y, this will be simply you can say minus of 6X minus 1 plus 2Z, you understand? And you substitute the value of X as 1, so this is 6 minus 1 that is uh, 5 and uh, Z value is 0, so this is uh, you can say minus 5 Newton per coulomb and if you calculate EZ that will be minus del V by del Z. Partial derivative this will be 0, this will be 0, only expression you will be having that will be minus 2Y. Y value has been given as 1, so this is minus 2. So in total finally you have electric field vector as minus 6I minus 5J cap minus 2 K cap Newton per coulomb. So this expression is matching with the option 3 of this question. So this will be the correct option. Switch over to next question 170. Now this is a question of Young's double slit experiment in which the slit width ratio has been given and this is basically the ratio of square of amplitude. So here you can say a2 by a1 that has been given as 5 is to 1, 5 upon 1 because it is 1 is to 25 and they want i max upon i minimum. So this is uh, 5 plus 1 whole square upon 5 minus 1 whole square. This is 36 by 16, in total you can say 9 by 4. So the correct option for this thing will be the second option 9 is to 4. That is the answer to question 170. Now next question that is 171. Now this is a straightforward formula based question in which you have to calculate the power of the heart. You can consider this mechanics. Power is energy upon time. So here I am using P as pressure and rate of change of volume. P into V, V here is volume. Pressure into volume that is energy divided by time that makes it power. Now you have to calculate the power of that. This pressure value can be written as rho g h like pressure it is given in terms of uh, mercury 150 mm of hg so this h will be 150 mm to be converted into meter density of mercury has been given to you 13.6 into 10 power 3 and g value has been given and this volume rate of pumping this is 5 liter of blood per minute so this 5 liter will be converted into meter cube, you understand, 1 meter cube is 1000 liter, so 5 into 10 power minus 3, you can substitute here, this is meter cube per minute, so convert into 60 seconds, you understand, so substitute all these values, you will be getting the value power as 1.70 watt, so that will be the answer to question 171, switch over to next question 172. Now this is again a direct formula based question in which a charged particle moving in uniform perpendicular magnetic field, what is the expression for kinetic energy? Expression for kinetic energy directly you can use Q square B square R square by twice of mass and it is again a comparison based question. They have given to you in the question that the radius is same and magnetic field is same. Kinetic energy of proton and alpha particle is to be compared. If you see proton, then Q is equal to 1 and mass is 1. So K is proportional to 1. But if you talk about alpha particle, then Q is 2, 2 square is 4 and mass is 4. Once again, division gives you 1. So that means proton and alpha particle, both will have same kinetic energy in this particular question. So whatever is the kinetic energy of proton, the same will be the kinetic energy of alpha, alpha particle. So your correct answer will be 1 mega electron volt. That is the answer to question 172. Switch over to next question 173. 